Welcome to another exciting update from the San Francisco 49ers, dear fan. Today, I bring you hot news to share. Right now, show your support and hit the like button on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on all the latest news. The San Francisco 49ers are back in the Super Bowl, marking their return after four years since their last appearance on the grand stage. In 2020, the team suffered defeat against the Kansas City Chiefs, the same team they will face in this year's final. In pursuit of their sixth title, the Niners' season approached perfection but encountered challenges in the latter part of the games. The California team kicked off the season on a high note with a significant victory over the Pittsburgh Steelers, winning 30-7 in an away game. They continued with positive results, being one of the only two undefeated teams along with the Philadelphia Eagles. However, in weeks 6 and 7, Kyle Shanahan's team faced difficulties, suffering two consecutive losses. They slipped from the NFC seed one and even lost the division lead. The Niners recalibrated their course and won seven consecutive games, including a dominant 42-19 victory over the Eagles, a direct competitor for the NFC top seed, and two convincing wins against division rival Seattle Seahawks. The team reclaimed the conference leadership and also secured the top spot in the NFC West. San Francisco placed its bet on Brock Purdy as the starting quarterback for the season, trading Trey Lance to the Cowboys. Purdy delivered an excellent performance, sparking debates about him being the season MVP over Lamar Jackson. The showdown between the 49ers and the Ravens in California was supposed to settle the debate. However, Purdy had a tragic night with no touchdowns and four interceptions, while Lamar shone, securing a 33-19 victory. Despite the defeat, Brock Purdy remained resilient and finished the season with impressive numbers, earning the confidence of the coaching staff and fans. Purdy was supported by outstanding teammates like Debo Samuel, Christian McCaffrey, and George Kittle, while the defense boasted players like Nick Boza, Fred Warner, and Chase Young. The 49ers clinched the NFC number one seed, granting them a bye in the playoffs and home field advantage in postseason games. In the playoffs, San Francisco faced the Green Bay Packers and was considered the favorite, but the game unfolded differently on the field. The Niners struggled to defeat the Packers, taking the lead only in the final drive and forcing an interception from Jordan Love. A similar situation occurred in the NFC Final against the Lions, where they were trailing 24-7 but staged a historic comeback to win 34-31, earning their ticket to the Super Bowl. The 49ers seek redemption from Super Bowl 54 and their sixth title, aiming to equal the record with the Patriots and Steelers. This year's final is a rematch of the 2020 Super Bowl, where the Chiefs, three Super Bowl titles, triumphed over the 49ers, five Super Bowl titles, with a 31-20 comeback victory at the Sun Life Stadium in Florida. It has been 29 long years since the San Francisco 49ers won their last Super Bowl, but Betfair odds suggest that the wait may come to an end on Sunday. The Niners are the favorites to win the ultimate football title, priced at at 1.70 on Betfair Sports. In the last game of the Niners in the NFC Championship, the Detroit Lions gave them a scare by leading 24-7 at halftime. However, quarterback Brock Purdy and his teammates recovered, winning 34-31. Purdy threw for 267 yards and one touchdown to Brandon Ayuk, but had one interception. In excellent form, running back Christian McCaffrey scored two more touchdowns for the California team. The Kansas City Chiefs had a longer journey to reach the Super Bowl. With 14 wins and 6 losses, one game and one more loss than San Francisco, they had to play in the wild card playoffs, where they won at home against the Miami Dolphins 26-7. Next, they defeated the favored Buffalo Bills on the road, winning 27-24. In the AFC Championship Final, the Chiefs once again overcame a favored team as visitors to earn the right to defend their Super Bowl title winning 17-10 against the Baltimore Ravens. Patrick Mahomes passed for 247 yards, connecting with Travis Kelsey for a touchdown, complemented by another from Isaiah Pacheco, and a field goal from Harrison Butker. Quarterbacks receive almost all the attention in the NFL, and most of the time, they walk away with all the trophies, including the Super Bowl MVP, which has been won by a quarterback 32 times in 57 games. However, only six QBs have received the honor in the last 10 decisions, with some wide receivers and linebackers also being recognized. The absence of a clear favorite for the MVP award this year indicates that the competition is more open than usual. Patrick Mahomes of the Chiefs is the favorite to win the Super Bowl MVP award at at 2.30 on Betfair Sports, 
but the close proximity of Brock Purdy of the 49ers at a 2.88 on Betfair Sports suggests that the expected balance in the game may be reflected in the performances of both quarterbacks. However, one cannot overlook the defensive players of the Kansas City Chiefs, a unit that has been the true star of their campaign, nor the offensive contributors of the Niners, who have been deciding important games. Kansas City Chiefs As of this publication, the major concern for coach Andy Reid is whether he can count on running back Isaiah Pacheco, recovering from a foot injury. Other uncertainties include Drew Tranquil, linebacker, Rassie Rice, wide receiver, Richie James Jr., wide receiver, Blaine Gabbard, quarterback, Prince Tigo Winogo, offensive tackle, Willie Gay Jr., linebacker, Sky Moore, wide receiver, Joe Thune, defensive guard, and Charles Omenihu, defensive end. San Francisco 49ers. Coach Kyle Shanahan's uncertainties include Trent Williams, offensive tackle, Kalia Davis, defensive tackle, Ari Armstead, defensive tackle, Ambry Thomas, cornerback, Oren Burks, linebacker, and George Kittle, tight end. The recent victories of the reigning champion Kansas City Chiefs, especially the last two as visitors against favored teams, have nearly diminished the favoritism of the San Francisco 49ers, as indicated by the Betfair odds. A potential absence of Isaiah Pacheco could make life easier for the California defense, but the MVP favorite Patrick Mahomes knows the path to winning the Super Bowl, something the Niners haven't achieved in 29 years. Former NFL star J.J. Watt believes that the old saying defense wins championships still holds weight as the San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs try to counter the offenses led by Patrick Mahomes and Brock Purdy in Super Bowl 58 on Sunday. Kyle Shanahan's 49ers arrive boasting one of the league's deepest and dynamic offenses, fueled by the influence of Purdy and Christian McCaffrey, while Andy Reid's Chiefs, led by the league's best quarterback, seemingly awakened in the playoffs after a season marred by errors. As the two key players prepared to face each other, what recommended defensive coordinators Steve Wilkes and Steve Spagnolo to play decisive roles in determining who lifts the Lombardi Trophy in Las Vegas? What I love about the 49ers is that they have a great defensive line, but I love their two linebackers, what told Sky Sports NFL's Neil Reynolds. They are possibly the best linebacker duo in the league with Fred Warner and Dre Greenlaw, just two guys who command the presence in the middle of the field but are also so smart and experienced. You can't pick those two. They can cover anyone, go from side to side, take on the middle and face a running back or fullback if needed. They are two very good linebackers. Warner and Greenlaw are at the heart of a Niners defense tasked with slowing down Isaiah Pacheco's and the Chiefs' ground game, after seeing their team yield 376 yards in hard-fought victories over the Green Bay Packers and the Detroit Lions on the road to the Super Bowl. Pacheco has been a key figure in Kansas City's postseason campaign, rushing for 254 yards and three touchdowns and wins over the Miami Dolphins, Buffalo Bills, and Baltimore Ravens. What, however, insists that he is not concerned about San Francisco's ability to stop the run. I still think they are a great defense. As a pass rusher, you love speeding up the pass, and they have great pass rushers there, what added. Sometimes we get the bad habit of wanting to get that sack, but it takes getting to the third down and earning the right to rush the passer. It's easier said than done. Meanwhile, Nick Boza is poised to lead the fast-paced Niners attack against the Chiefs' offensive line having recorded 10.5 sacks and led the NFL in pressures before producing two sacks against the Lions in the NFC Championship game. He's a great player, won the Defensive Player of the Year award, a great player, what said. He not only gets to the passer quickly but also runs, is super strong, has a great bend, can turn that corner and has that agility. There are certainly a lot of offensive stars to look at, but as a defender, you certainly want to leave your mark on the game. You want people to leave the game thinking that guy. I think having a great pass rusher helps tremendously. There's a reason why Patrick Mahomes has won six AFC championships and reached four of the last five Super Bowls. Mahomes wants to win his third ring at the Super Bowl in six seasons, having reached the end of the NFL season in four of the last five years, amid his pursuit of greatness among NFL quarterbacks. His offense fell below the normally dominant standards during the regular season, but Mahomes arrives in Las Vegas playing his best football, completing 68% of his passes for 718 yards and four touchdowns with no interceptions in the playoffs. He's caused me a lot of frustration in life, what laughed. What I say about Patrick is that as a pass rusher, I can win cleanly and still not get the sack because he can step up in the middle. 
But what he can do that others can is fall back 5, 10, 15 yards because his arm is so strong. I can win. He sees me win and then steps back and back and has the arm strength to throw a bullet down the field. While Reed and Mahomes' offense paved the way for previous Super Bowl appearances, it was in Steve Spagnolo's defense that they relied on for much of the campaign. The Chiefs finished the regular season second in total defense, fourth against the pass, and second in scoring in 2023. Spags with the Chiefs does a great job, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Two really good offenses, but I'm a defensive guy, so I like watching these defenses, what continued. I think you look at his track record and what he's done. He's been an impressive coach, especially what he's done in the playoffs. He mixes things up, loves attacking guys, and bringing the defense. Sometimes you think of getting sacks and pressures only as the defensive line up front, but his DBs do a great job pressuring and getting sacks because of how Spags prepares them. I think the defenses are having a good day. I mean a lower scoring game. I think each team will wait to see who makes the mistake, and then the fourth quarter will be a lot of fun. There you have it, San Francisco fans. What did you think of today's video? Leave your opinion in the comments and don't forget to hit the like button on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Until next time.